rice cookers. First thing we need to do is make sure there's no oil in it. So, let's take a look. Ooh, she's pretty black, pretty filthy. This tension is a 14, so are the bolts for the uh, engine mount, which needs to come off. Next we got the crank pulley, which is a 19, which I don't have on my gun. Ooh, no, that's no good. Wow. Okay, that's uh, Oh, I need a proper tool. I need a weighted socket or a harmonic balancer socket. But I live in New Zealand, so it's probably not around. It's probably in a week's wait from Amazon or some shit. This crank bolt completely beat my ass yesterday, so, uh, Later on today, I've got a friend coming over who's got a harmonic balancer holding tool, which should fit in here. And we'll have to try with a uh, pry bar, or a couple pry bars. So in the meantime, I haven't really got much else to do, but I can get some of these lines off and take off the rocket cover and have a look at the condition underneath that, and yeah. They actually look um, pretty clean. Uh, a couple 10 mils here to come off. Should be all the 10 mils. There is that many of them. Six. Kind of lever these off with a screwdriver under these spots where there's silicon. Like right there on the timing chain cover. Right there. This is a fairly high case engine, so all in all, I think that's in pretty pretty good condition. That was a ping. Take that, you fuck. <laughs> nice one. I'm nice done work. asking. <laughs> yeah, right? As you can see, managed to finally get this fucking bolt loose. What an absolute nightmare. It's the keyway. Just used a uh, extension on the on the back through the flex plate to um, stop the engine rotating when we were leaning on it. Ah! 
All right. I'm going to take this um, water block off the back. All of these bolts on this um, water block are 12s, including the bracket here. There's a uh, long ones on the bottom and nuts on the top. Is this like an EGR system or something? F that noise. Yeah, and it's just got a an O-ring that seals into the top of that thermostat housing. All right. That was sharp. Got to whip off all these 10 mils around, pull off the K24 balancer and oil pump, place it with a K21, place the chain and uh, the tensioner. And we can move to the top and work on cam gear. Right now we just need to go around this thing and um, slowly separate the silicon. And there we go. Once again, it looks pretty damn clean in here. Pretty happy with that. Next, we've got this uh, crank position sensor right here. And the rest of the 10 mils all around. And on the other side, we've got to remove the sensor here. Can't remember what it's called. Anyway, let's start off with getting rid of this. We'll just use this little sucker right meow. Hmm. That's a 10 mil as well. And this kind of goofy bolt. Ooh. Right, I'm pretty sure this thing just... Yep, there we go. Unfortunately, I lost my video clip removing this front cover but it's pretty obvious just a series of 10 mils all around it and uh got the engine timed up to tdc before turning the engine over to start removing more of it i've got both of these cams pinned with some uh, allen keys so that should stop it from moving these two cams as i do everything around here now i can remove these guides and the auto tensioner and take the actual Timing belt off. It's a fucking timing chain. <gasps> timing chain. What the fuck? Pin this. that allows me to get all the chain off for the oil pump now but I'm also replacing this intake cam with a 50 degree intake cam now those should be locked together okay they're doubly locked up Please, please, please. And there we go. Here's all the parts you need to upgrade your K24 
we got a uh, Type S oil pump, the 50 degree cam gear, the windage tray, the guide for the oil chain, and wow, you don't really need that, but seeing how we're pulling the engine apart, it's always advisable to replace your tensioner. So we got some parts here, some part numbers. These will also be in the description. So that's the one for your windage tray. That's for the cam gear, the oil pump, chain for the oil pump. There goes a brand new, um, brand new tensioner and your guide. All right, let's get these on the engine. Old cam gear. New one. Eighty-three foot pounds, or a hundred and twelve newton meters. No, I'm gonna have to load that up differently because I'm turning it. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna snug these up and um, talk them up once everything's been retimed. We go into the oil pump and the chain for that. Take off this tensioner for the oil pump chain. 310 mils, put this aside because we're gonna need to reuse it. The guide is two five millimeter Allens. Slippery little fecker. For the balancer and oil pump, you've got two 12s at the front and two 14s at the back. Gonna reuse the 12s at the front, but we don't need to reuse the ones at the back. Oh, a heavy piece of shit, man. 10 mils here, four of them, and two here. We can reuse these uh, 10 mils though. Now we need to take this uh, oil squirter out and block it with a 12 mil. Okay, we got a like kind of self-tapping screw. See if I can get it to thread in. Oh shit. Hmm. Gonna need a different screw, I think. That's not really where I want to screw. Ah, <sighs> regroup. Hey, there it is. Little f <gasps> Right, that's gonna do it for today. Thanks for watching and um, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. If you're liking this kind of content, then um, be sure to subscribe, as everyone always says on these f***ing <laughs> outro things. Um, yeah, because there's plenty more content to come on the uh, K-Series engine. I hope some parts of this video at least helped some people out with um, either planning on doing a swap or um, attempting to do a lot of this stuff for the first time like I am. Um, so yeah, thanks again and see you in the next one.